Oh, hey, this is Paul from Les Pots Guitars, and welcome to my shop. I have here a good friend of mine, uh, Parker Miller. Parker is an endorsing artist for Les Pots Guitars, and he's brought his guitar by to do a little bit of work. Well, we show we, him what we did. We show brought the did. guitar by to uh, get this here logo on the headstock. Can you see that? Yeah. I'll bring it oh, bring that closer. In. Bring that in. Oh. So you can see how good that yeah. looks. You notice we've got the new Lesperance logo here. I didn't mean to give you the finger, sorry. Lesperance <laughs> logo here, and then this is the original one, which... <coughs> I, Paul, I love this guitar, dude. I don't... I, I'm not going to mix words. This is the best guitar I've ever played. I love it, and having it has allowed me to learn all sorts of things. Can about you see my head play. swelling? Well, you know, you don't say things that they're not true. Like, I, I, lo I genuinely love this guitar, and I am proud to say it. That the best guitar I've ever played is a Les Perons guitar from this man right here. So now look, I tried to build this guy his own guitar, but he had to have this as he, one. As soon as you this put, one, you show me this guitar and you put it in my hands, and as soon as I played it for the first time, it was like, all right, well that's the guitar. Yeah. That's that's the one I need. It's pretty. It's pretty. The orange color is what popped to me first. Like I'll be honest. I know that's a superficial thing, but like, yeah, not just no. the color, but the finish, the way you can see the wood grain, and this knot here right next to where the input jack goes in, I just, I don't know, I, I saw Character. It, it's one of a kind. That's character. And people have come up to me and seen this guitar and, and asked me about it since then, and you tell them, well, hey, here's the deal, this is, this is where it came from. Cove City, North Carolina, out here at Paul's shop, he built it all from scratch. Well, you know what, a lot of people, the first thing they notice is, how pretty something is, a guitar. But look at the looks of it, okay? And that attracts them. Okay, then they pick it up, put it in their hands, and they play it, and that's when it sold. That's when it really sold. And I think I sold them with this one. The thing I really love about it is the uh, the treble knob here. I remember when I first got it, you taught me about treble bleed circuits because I didn't know anything about it how the, the inside of the guitar is wired. Right. I didn't know that the inside of this cabinet Single was bowl. lined with copper. That that blew my mind when we opened up the cabinet for the first time <laughs> and it was like Literal. all copper on the inside and yeah. you got the plate. The other side of this plate has like copper tape on it and it connects at the ground to both Oh man, and that, it just sound isolates the inside. And that's to keep the, uh, the hum, keep mm -hmm. the hum down. These are single coils. Mm -hmm. Uh, this has the cloth wiring in it, the old school cloth wiring and all that stuff. And the only thing we've done to upgrade this guitar since you built it was add these tusk bridge saddles to match the tusk neck nut. Which add the, uh, the tonal quality that I'm getting out of this guitar now is just... It's I'll tell you what else Park is doing, uh, he's using a coin. Kind of the Brian May thing, you know what I mean? He's, he's using a coin these days. This is an American Quarter. I, I'm not going to lie, I watched a video. Decided I wanted to try it out. I tried it. I'm amazed at how uh, the weight of this just means you have to put so much less energy into it, and that allows you to be faster, and it allows your uh, the way that the strings hit the side of this coin versus the way they hit a traditional plastic pick. In fact, let's try it out. Grab, that pot of oh, grab, bring, grab your beer, man. Let oh, me get your beer. Hold wait, on. You got, a, you got a beer too. Don't oh, you? I got a beer. Hold okay. on. Let's grab a beer. We're having beers too, guys. All right, so. This is a uh, this is your beer. United States 25 cent piece a quarter, and this is a uh, Jim Dunlop 0.6 millimeter nylon pick. So here's we'll do the same riff with the nylon. So that's with, with the nylon pick. Now let's try it with the quarter. Same riff. You hear how much brighter that is? Yeah. Like how much more resonance? You, you don't hear that little plasticky. No, you don't slap with a pick when it hits the next string either. Which you hear, honestly, you hear more acoustic than you do amplified, but like the way the strings continue to ring and resonate, it's just it's not the same. The way it feels isn't the same. And this just feels more natural. Guitar, playing all the guitars you've ever played. What are the what are the things that that 
uh, drive you to just love this guitar? Well, I love the way the maple neck feels, first of all. I had never played on a guitar that had a maple fretboard, and for some reason, like, I, I don't know if it's because it's a softer wood, maybe, but it, it just, it feels... Well, like, maple's like hard I can, wood. It feels like I can go faster. Is what I'm saying. Now this has an oil finish on it. Mm -hmm. It's an oil finish. That's another thing that you probably really feel. Like you really dig it. Is that it has an oil finish? And also the way the back of my hand grips the neck is different than I'm used to. I'm used to playing guitars with painted necks. Right. Right. And this this feels it's not like sticking. Yeah. No. This is where my hand is. Right here. It's not going to move. It's not going to waver. That's smooth transition yep. to each. You know. And the way it bends too. Not only are they beautiful, they play great. That's what he's saying. Basically. I asked you about uh, <laughs> locking headstock tuners a minute ago, and your response was, "My guitars don't need locking headstock tuners because they don't go out of tune." That's right. That's right. That's the way you've built this mechanically. Uh, it it stays where it needs to be, man. Like. I've done my job. You did a great job, and you doing a great job allows me to take this and make some things with it that I wouldn't be able to make with any other guitar. Awesome. You know, being an endorsing artist for Les Paul's Guitars, it's very important that uh, you have the tools you need for the job. I mean, you're, rep you're representing my company, and this thing right here, this, this, this is a workhorse. It's got to do what it's supposed to do. Well, I'll tell you that in the last year since I've been a sponsored artist, from Les Brown's guitars, I have been able to learn about effects, I've been able to learn about technique, I've been able to learn about uh, different amplifiers, different amplifier settings, because I don't need to learn about guitars anymore. This is the best guitar that I can get, that I'll ever be able to play, and I know that's, there's, there's nothing that I could do to modify this or make this any better than it already is, now I can move on to something else. There you go. <laughs> myself sticking to the straight bridge position if anything I'll turn both of them on at the same time but I rarely ever use the neck position solo right okay. I don't know if that's just because I'm lazy or <laughs> it's just it stays down here typically right. and you know you're developing your sound so man that's your sound you know what's the badass pickups in here oh yeah man yeah. what what a Tell me the tell me the pickups that I have in here. Well, these are uh, these are the Seymour Duncan uh, Twain Kings, right there. That's the, the Twain Kings, yep. which are you know intended for a well, Fender Telecaster type body. Yeah, and it's a it, it's a it's a Telly-esque guitar. Yes. Is what it is. Um, no pick guard though. None yeah. of that. No that we, don't, we don't we don't hide the beauty of the guitar. We don't hide the beauty of the natural wood, and that's the thing that people have complimented me on most is that they look at it and it's like, well, you just found an orange piece of wood. <laughs> it's no. Most, no. This no, is, this not is an state. orange piece. There are no orange pieces of wood. No, there are no orange pieces of wood. <laughs> but the fact that you can still see the grain of the wood and how the saw cut this out, and this, I love that this knot is in this position because, like, I can look down when I have to plug my guitar it lines in, you up. and it lines me up. Like, I just, oh, okay, it goes right in there. Never was, thought of that. This yeah. is where it ended up. Well, when, it, when I'm looking at it from right here, it lines up perfectly with the input. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can get pieces of wood that are beautiful, but I think that little blemishes and stuff like that add character to a guitar anyways. One of a kind. I saw that, and I was like, you know, whatever, that looks good. 
It wasn't intended to be lined up with that, but oh, um, and the I, pretty cool. I forget the back of the neck has that the spotting effect. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the bird's eye maple. The bird's eye maple. The bird's eye maple neck mm -hmm. on the swamp ash body. Bird's eye maple fingerboard. Bird's eye maple fingerboard, yeah. which yeah. you know, unless you really look closely, you would have a hard time telling that these are two pieces of wood because it it's matched up so close yeah. to the grain. And it almost looks like one solid piece of wood. All right, well, I want to thank uh, Parker for coming out here and uh, hanging out with me a little bit and having a couple beers. And I want to thank Paul for making this amazing guitar that I love and will continue to play for years to come. Yeah. So thank you, Paul. No problem, man. Yeah. Let's make another one. Let's do it. All right. All right. All right, well, thank you for joining us here at Les Fox Guitars. And remember that uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, like my channel. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're customers. What's all about? See ya.